now. No! Stop him! <laughs> Wait, we're getting a dog? Or are you, you already know which one. Yeah, so we're going out right now. We're going to choose between two of the four. I guess Alex already went and saw them. I will be sending you a picture within the hour. Phil, I want you to make my phone explode. <laughs> Photos, videos. Dude, okay. Enjoy. Okay, I want to preface this really quick. Today, we are actually going to see and make sure that this doggy is okay and happy with little kids. We are hoping that we are her forever home. So there are actually four rescue dogs at this location. Holy mackerel. Mommy picked two, and we're gonna go see which one. Wait, we get to have two? All right, guys, we're here. Is Cassidy sleeping? Yeah. Yeah? Where do I go, left or right? Left, go left of the driveway. You want, you want a puppy? Say doggy. Bup. Book. Buddy, you ready to see doggy? You gonna see puppy? Puppy. Uh, puppy, you gonna see puppy. Hi, puppy. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. This looks so calm. So this is exactly the same interaction. Chloe like to sit yeah. on my lap, and Emily was just kind of. Yeah. Um, So have they been together for a long time? Do you like the doggy? Can you please buy Chloe? Daddy, look! So one child wants one, one child wants the other, and Cassidy doesn't want us to get a dog at all. Why does Cassidy not like the dogs? It's because they're rough. They're not rough. They're just energetic and she's tiny. What dog do you like? I like all of the dogs. <laughs> okay. Well, we're, this is a trouble. Alex, you can't even decide what's for dinner, let alone <laughs> what know. dog to take home for the rest of our lives. This might be one of the most heartbreaking decisions you've ever had to make in your life. Going Callie Joe, give Chloe one more hug. One more big hug. You can stay here. She wants to go with us. Okay. Yeah. They are vying for who's closer to you. So we're already signed for Emily. Are you second guessing taking two? No. You don't want two? I think it's, I think so. So your suggestion is the best. Take one. See how she does. See how, how, it, see how you do, see how she does. I think she's having a hard time. It's slippery fabric. Can you jump? Can she jump? Up. You might have to pick her up like full body.
Jacob goes talk to her. Callie, you are being so strong. Hey, Emily. Hi, sweet girl. It's such a new environment for her, huh? So what are we going to do when we get home? Are we going to be rough with her? No. What are we going to do? Be gentle and kind and say gentle words. Say gentle words. That's right. Emily, welcome to my family. You are a congelier now. Emily, what's her, what can it be her middle name? Why don't we give her a middle name? You want you guys want to give her a middle name? Yeah. How about Callie chooses her middle name? Yeah, you can choose. How about you and I can have some long conversations tonight about what you want to choose the name? Would that work, Cal? Uh, Callie Cass Kins and Emily's Farms. Yeah. yeah, you're so much trouble. I told you. There's another dog in the back, too. Which one? There's an 11 year old golden retriever. Oh, I'm so pretty. She's perfect. You know how to take care of pregnant ladies? Yeah. She was. She was. Uh -huh. You know how hormonal you were after you had a baby? This is great. We've got now five girls in our family. <laughs> do you want to make it six? I do. Very badly. Did you ever think this experience would be anything but just jubilation and joy and excitement? It would be easier to just say, here's your puppy. Do we just get two dogs? We don't have two doggy beds. We don't have two beds. Or we don't have two leashes. So I think it's a good idea to keep so you're actually happy that we only have one dog? You got a great family dog, and everybody seemed like they were nervous about the energy of Chloe. Emmy, do you want to go home? Do you want to go see your new home? Oh my gosh. Friends? She's very scared. She's, she's definitely going to have a few days adjusting. She'll need to stay near me or... Not just kind of get passed around. She'll need to be with one of us like all day. Well, the recommendation is um, to not leave a new dog with kids for a long time. Yeah. So kids, you can't you can't be with her by yourself for a while. You need to have mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa around, okay? Can I say that this is the best Christmas present I could have ever, ever, ever gotten? I can't believe how she kind of fell into our laps. Yeah, her story her story is amazing. Alex needs to tell you. I'm actually surprised she didn't like vlog the entire process, but it was so much research and and applying places and calling people and research. It was just so much. I will share her story at some point. Maybe not today. But yeah. Her adoption story is amazing. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing. It's, it's sad, but it's very really, sad. It's redemptive. Yeah. You're very redemptive. Adoption always starts with some sort of pain, and and hopefully the goal is that there's some massive redemption in it at all. And we'll have some things to work through to get her back up to health, but we're going to do our best. Okay, may you get her inside? Let's go. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she can get out. She just can't get in. I don't know where she came from. Here, Mama, Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of love? How was your nap? We've taken a handful of pictures and I'm looking at the pictures and she looks kind of sad. She's very sweet. I think she's still very scared. She's very much like kind of tail between her legs scared. But she's so sweet and she's so good with the girls. I took you like a hundred photos today. You took amazing photos. You want to see them all? How many photos did I take? One. <laughs> I'm so bad you at taking enjoying, photos. You're enjoying We it. spent all day just kind of spending time with her and bonding and seeing how she does. I think we're different. gonna try to take her to the vet tomorrow. We are hopeful that maybe they'll have a sp un like an emergent spot. Look at that sweetness. She's just so soft. I think that's a good word for her. She's very soft. She's soft with the girls. She's just very sweet and very kind. She's very calm. But we just keep thinking of the other dog. We we've li not intentionally. We were not gonna 
we were not planning on adopting two dogs. I have literally applied multiple places to find rescue golden retrievers. The fact that this is our story is, is really wild. Yeah. Um, but we were also going down the route of just going to get a golden retriever puppy for our family. The fact that Emily showed up in our lives is just wild. But we keep thinking of Chloe that's still back at the home that rescued her. Chloe is just a lot more energe energetic. Chloe's a little younger. And she's really skittish. Yeah. And just everything I read and recommendations is just to be very wary of skittish dogs. And I have three kids in my house that I need that are my first priority. So I'm just trying to figure out maybe we should go back and go have a play date with her and see if we can get her to warm up to us. It's mostly Cassidy though, because she's not as stable on her feet and Emily is literally perfect for her. Yeah. Cassidy was saying no to the dogs when we were when we were there. I got really nervous of the fact that we were getting a dog. Yeah. And she was saying no to these dogs. But and then, then all day today, she was grabbing handfuls of food and walking it over to Emily. Yeah, and I, she started petting her a couple of times. Yeah, I'm not nervous. In I'm the really for proud of Cassidy warming up. I think that's what I needed today is to see that Cassidy was going to be okay even just having a dog. And we couldn't ask for a better dog than Emily to She's enter our family. She's absolutely a dream. She's just She's a dream so come true. sweet. He's so tired. She must be so emotional. I think there's a lot of shock, I think. There's a lot of trauma she's gone mm -hmm. through. Yeah, and I, I mean. We'll share her story in another video. Yeah, her story is significant. There's a lot of woundings. There's a lot of history. Yeah. There's a lot of past. There's a couple of things that stand out today that I find to be absolutely so heartwarming. One, I didn't even communicate this to Alex, but I, I wanted uh, an older golden. I had no with. idea. Like I, I, I just I, assumed Philip was like every other person that just wants no, a puppy. I, like I wanted to adopt or rescue a golden. I had. All I can't even express my heart difference of when I went to yeah. look at the puppies that were at this house. And then when I talked to them about wanting an adult dog and that they had just happened to have some rescue dogs that they had just rescued that like never happens. And my heart changed where I was yeah. so excited. Anyways, go ahead. She has some training to her, which is really amazing. I was thinking that this dog was like for me in the sense that I've always wanted a dog. This was really right. like my this surprise, was, my present. It was for you, yeah. And watching Alex interact with the dog today, it reminded <laughs> Alex of her experience with her dog Clyde when she was younger. Mm -hmm. And Alex just jumped right into it. And kind of has been acting as though... Emily, do you want to come say hi? Come say Emily, hi, baby. You're going to have a lot of friends. Emily. The second thing is, Callie was really disappointed um, that we didn't walk away with Chloe, the other one. Guess who was the child of the two that hung out with uh, Emily... The entire night Callie she almost never left Emily's side and it was just such a eye-opener we already knew that Callie has such an affectionate heart toward animals she's always been that way with the chickens she was never scared of the chickens she was never scared of dogs when we go on hikes uh, that are that are strangers we're walking past dogs she's never scared of them uh, she's never scared of horses horse you'd ask her Callie what's your favorite animal her favorite animal is horses Callie changed her attitude and realized the reality is we came with our dog it wasn't Kinsley's dog it was our family dog and Callie was in her bed she was in the other place that she laid she was feeding her she was walking her around she wanted to go take her on a walk outside she wanted to help her go to the bathroom like Callie never left Emily's side tonight the whole night and that was so neat to see Callie in her element of taking care of an animal this dog and maybe these dogs I don't know how this is going to end and if it's just Emily, it's going to be absolutely perfect. 
If not, and there's two of them, uh, I don't know how we're going to do that. But we're going to figure it out if that's what we're called to. If, as we pray and think and sleep on it, that it just doesn't leave our minds and set on our hearts to go back and, and maybe maybe help um, give Chloe a better home because uh, she needs it. And she needs a family that's going to give her this type of love and affection that our family does have to give. And so, honestly my favorite christmas present of all time came today uh today was so incredibly significant for my life um as you know i've been wanting a dog for 11 years or more i can't wait to tell you the whole story of as this unfolds how alex found emily is wild i mean i didn't know it i thought alex was just on her phone and didn't really want to hang out with me for the last couple weeks. And I thought, that's okay. She's just in a season and that's all right. Come to find out, Alex has been working behind the scenes tirelessly and had uh, rejections and had things that didn't work out and had a lot of logistics going on behind the scenes while we were on vacation before that. And, um, And so Alex has literally been working constantly trying to surprise me and to get our family uh this precious joy of of having a dog and so with that um, we'll be back and now you guys get to enjoy our family's adventures as we raise this precious dog and as we get to be a family of a lot more because we love it and we love you guys go let your love multiply we will see you soon She wants to sleep in our room tonight. You do? You think she wants to sleep in our room tonight? I want her to sleep in my bed tonight. Oh, <laughs> you want to sleep in our room? I think it's a good idea. The best idea. You just sleep in my bed. <laughs> <laughs>